This is Brett with Local Brand Manager, and in this video we're going to discuss how to do a live GeoGrid search. So what you're going to want to do from any screen once you're signed in, click on GeoGrid search at the top, and then on the left hand side we want to make sure that we've got this top option selected for a live search. Now you can, to search for a location you're managing, just start typing it in, or you can select it from the drop down menu. Um, it doesn't have to be a location you're managing though. Every Google Maps listing will auto-complete in this field here. So let's say I want to do Gatorland. And um, once you've got your location, go ahead and put in a search term. I'll do alligators. That seems fitting here. So we've got our search term now and our listing. And now we want to make some adjustments to this grid. So by default, it starts off with a 13 by 13, 100 meters. And what that means is from like the center of this top left circle to the center of the circle underneath it is 100 meters. So I want to space this out a little bit. Um, now they're a kilometer apart, but since I live in the United States, I'm going to go ahead and switch to miles. By default, it's a tenth of a mile. How about I put a half mile between them? Uh, you can also adjust how many nodes you would like to appear. So now I've got a 9x9 nine nine spaced half a mile apart. That looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and click this question mark, and the search will now run. Um, Gatorland is, uh, you wouldn't really call it an amusement park. It's like a very specialized zoo in Central Florida. I'll just zoom out and show you guys. I actually didn't realize it was so close to Orlando. Okay, and this is this is unsurprising. So Gatorland ranks ranks number one for alligators uh, across the board here. Now we can actually click on any one of these nodes to see who else is ranking for the term alligator. As you can see, they're, they're all the way across the state here. So um, Gatorland obviously dominates its immediate surroundings. But you, you can actually click on any one of these nodes. And let's say that now we want to see how White Gator Swamp is ranking over that same area. Click this eyeball. And now we see that they're ranking number two almost everywhere except for number, number three for this one mile stretch. And we can do this with any location we want. Uh, gator Feeding Dock. Let's click on them. And you see we've got a bunch of fours, fives, and sixes. It doesn't cost more GeoGrid searches to rearrange them. Uh, you've already done this search. We already have this data. We're just redisplaying it for you. So that is how you do a live GeoGrid search. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to our support. That's going to do it for this video. Take care.